Good morning, everyone. Nice to see you. And uh, hello. Is everybody fine? Good morning. Good morning. Thank you. Now, uh, the topic of this week is uh, syntax. Okay, syntax it means the study of the order of the words in a language. In each language, there is an order of the words. The words are ordered in a certain way in each language. For example, in English language, it is usually the uh, subject, okay, okay, subject, verb, and the object, okay. It means N V O. The subject comes first. For example, I, we, he, you, she, or they, and then the verb comes go, for example, or play. All right, and then the object comes. They play games. All right. This is the usual word order. How about in Turkish? In Turkish, the word order is usually, you know, the the subject, object, and verb. All right. It's different. All right. It's different. In English, it's s s v o. In Turkish, it's s o v. The usual word order. In each language, there's a certain word order like this. And in syntax. We study the word order. We study the structure of the sentences in a language. And syntax, which is spelled like, you know, this. I'm showing the other camera and then the camera here on my computer. So I'm recording on two different cameras. Uh, so uh, in, in syntax, we create syntactic Trees. I'm writing it here. Syntactic trees. All right. Syntactic trees, which means the trees of syntax, like, for example, uh, the, the, the tree of syntax is upside down tree. Okay, the branches of the tree goes upside down. All right, not upwards, but upside down. So the sentence is at the top, and then we, on the, we make an analysis by dividing into its elements upside down, downwards. All sentences are divided into two, noun phrase and verb phrase. All sentences are divided into two, noun phrase and verb phrase. Okay? Can, I, think, I think both cameras can see here. All sentences are divided into two, noun phrase and verb phrase. NP and VP. NP means a noun phrase, VP means a verb phrase. Right, and then uh, let me analyze a very simple sentence. I play games. Look at that. I play games. All right, a very simple sentence. I play games, but when we say I play games, we have to put S, big S at the top, which means sentence, S of the sentence, and divide it into two. And the first division is noun phrase, the second division is verb phrase. All right, noun phrase and Verb phrase. Can you see that? Hmm? Can everybody see? Can you write me a message? Can everybody see it? Okay. Yes. Great. All right. Noun phrase and verb phrase. Noun phrase means... Uh, noun phrase consists of... Consists of uh, the noun part. And the verb phrase consists of the verb part of the sentence. So verb phrase begins 
after the verb, all right, after the verb, and until the verb, we have the noun phrase. So, in the noun phrase part, we make a division and say N noun, all right, like this, okay. In the noun phrase part, we make a division and say it's a noun. And in the noun part, what do we have? Only one noun, which is pronoun, that's I. Okay, that's I. One pronoun, and it's I. Okay, let me divide the verb phrase into two. How many verbs do we have in the verb phrase part, in the second part of the sentence? How many phrases do we how many verbs do we have? We have only one verb, which is play. All right, look at that now, please. Okay, we have divided the sentence into two, noun phrase and verb phrase, and then uh, noun is I, which is a pronoun, and verb is play. What is games? Games is a noun. So we have another division here and write games. Okay? Games. So I play games. This is called a syntax tree. Upside down syntax tree. We analyze a sentence this way. This is a very simple sentence. Now, uh, we don't have any prepositions here. We don't have any articles here. There are no articles and prepositions in this sentence that I have uh, shown you as an example. But when we add articles and prepositions, it's different. Let me do another sentence here. I go to school. Okay, I go to school. What do we have as an extra? We said I play games. There were three branches of a tree. Okay, three words in the sentence. So two parts of the sentence. Noun phrase, verb phrase, and then I have divided the noun phrase into one, which is noun. All right. I think a question is coming. Is there a question? I could not get it exactly why we did not write directly under the NP. Because in the NP part, in the NP part, we may have more words. In this example, we have only one word, I. But in other examples, for example, the man in the garden. If I say the man in the garden is reading a book, then the man in the garden is going to be the NP, noun phrase part. So noun phrase part will have different elements. The man in the garden, four elements. The man in the, no, five elements. Okay? So this is why... In the NP part, we do not write directly under the NP. We have to use, we have to mention what is there in the NP. Okay? Another question? All right. Thank you. I go to school. This is another sentence now. Let, let me, oh, right. Yes. I go to school. Can you see that? Yes, you can see it, I think. I go to school. So we have one more word in this sentence, which is to. What is to? An answer. What is to? Nobody answers. What is to? To is a preposition. Okay. To is a pre preposition. Jada is writing. Preposition. Great. Yes. So, sentence is divided into two. Which is the noun phrase? 
Which part is the noun phrase? Hmm? I is the noun phrase. Yes, I is the noun phrase. So in the first part, we write NP again. And under the NP, we write N, which is noun. And under N, we write I. Like this. Okay? I. Let me go on. In the verb phrase part, which part is the verb phrase? Go to school is the verb phrase. Yes. Go to school is the verb phrase. I can get and good answers from Jada. Thank you. Go to school is the verb part. Verb phrase part. And verb phrase is going to be divided into two. The first part is verb, which is go. Show you again. The verb phrase part is go. The first one is verb. Okay, another question is coming. Yes, I'm waiting for the question. All right, the part after go, the part after go is going to be, is going to be prepositional phrase. So look at that. Verb phrase. Nice. Okay, you see the verb phrase here. Hmm? You see the verb phrase here. And the verb phrase is divided into two. Verb. Go. And after the go, we have to school here. To school. All right. We have taken from this part, I is noun phrase. The part that begins with the verb is always called a verb phrase. A verb phrase. The part that begins after the verb, with the verb, sorry. The part that begins with the verb is always called a verb phrase. We have divided the verb phrase into two. The first part we have V, which indicates verb, and this verb is go. And PP means prepositional phrase. Prepositional phrase. Prepositional phrase is to school. So how many words are there in prepositional phrase? To school. We have two words, two parts. In this, prep, in this prepositional phrase. So we have to divide it into two now. Okay. Two. School. Prepositional phrase is divided into two, right? It's divided into two, and the first part is called preposition with only P. It means two, okay? And the second part is noun, which is school. So, look at that. A simple sentence grows this pick downwards we will have other examples of course okay syntax is going to be a lot of fun i wish you could do that in the classrooms so i would call you to the blackboard and ask you to analyze it yourself which would be a lot of fun and great, but however, uh, this terrible virus is locking us down, locking us uh, in the houses. It's locking us down in the houses. We cannot go out, unfortunately. So, in the autumn term, in September, I'll see you all again. Right. Uh, 
thinking of other examples. The boy comes to the garden. The boy comes to the garden. Wow, it's changed now. We have the boy, okay, comes to the garden. Right, it's changing. We have two new elements here. Two new elements here. The. What is the? What is the? Article. The is an article. Thank you. Thank you, Jada. The is an article. And what kind of article is it? What kind of article is it? We have two kinds of articles. We have two kinds of articles. Hmm? It's a definite article. Yeah, definite and indefinite. Definite article is the. Indefinite article is a or an. Here we have a definite article, the school. The boy comes to the school. Sorry, the garden. I'm sorry. The boy comes to the garden. Right. Which part is the noun phrase part? Which part is the noun phrase part? Hmm? The boy. The boy. As usual, I write sentence, noun phrase, Verb phrase. Okay? And no, Jada says the boy and the garden. Yes, the boy is the noun phrase. The garden is going to be the noun phrase. But the noun phrase of the sentence. Hmm? Noun phrase of the sentence. Noun phrase of the sentence is coming. The answer is coming. Okay, the noun phrase of the sentence is the boy. Good, the boy. So we divide this noun phrase, the first noun phrase, into two. Okay, into two. Article and noun. Okay, we have divided it into two, article and noun. I wrote art here as a shortened form of abbreviation of article and the noun, the boy. This is the analysis of the first part of the sentence. The second part of the sentence, we have a verb phrase. But how many words do we have here? To the garden. To the garden. We have three words here, three elements here in this part. And in this part, I have to mention the preposition first. Okay, P. First, the preposition. P. Two is the preposition. And then, in the second part, what do we need to write? Jada said the garden. Yes. What is the garden? The garden is the noun phrase. Okay. Nice. Nice picture. Look, the garden is a noun phrase and we mention it here as the garden. Article and noun. Preposition is to. So what do we do, what do we do here? What do we need to do here? First thing is all the phrases, all the phrases are named by the first word of the phrase, if it's a noun, it's a noun phrase. If it's an 
adjective, it's an adjective phrase. If it's a preposition, it's a prepositional phrase. The articles do not name. We cannot say an article phrase. Articles come to define. It's a different article, yeah. They come, they are put to define a noun. So, if the article is in front of a noun, we call it a noun phrase. And usually the articles are put in front of the nouns. But sometimes we have the blue house, for example, the blue car. Then it's an, what is blue? It's an adjective. Even though we have the at the beginning, we are going to call it an adjective phrase. Uh, you, you'll understand those easily uh, when I show you more example. Now, I'm closing this session. It's 20 minutes now. Closing this session and uh, open another session in five minutes.